The lonely troll, he sat on a stone and sang a mournful lay. Oh, why, oh, why must I live on my own in the hills of far away? My folk are gone beyond recall and take no thought of me. Alone I'm left, the last of all, from weathertop to the sea. I steal no gold, I drink no beer, I eat no kind of meat. But people slam their doors in fear whenever they hear my feet. Oh, how I wish that they were neat, and my hands were not so rough. Yet my heart is soft, my smile is sweet, and my cooking good enough. Come, come, he thought, this will not do. I must go and find a friend. A walking soft, I'll wander through the shire from end to end. Down he went, and he walked all night with his feet in boots of fur. To delving he came in the morning light when folk were just astir. He looked around, and who did he meet but old Mrs. Bunsen all, with umbrella and basket walking the street, and he smiled and stopped to call. Good morning, ma'am. Good day to you. I hope I find you well. But she dropped umbrella and basket too and yelled a frightful yell. Old Pop the mayor was trolling near. When he heard that awful sound, he turned all purple and pink with fear and dived down underground. The lonely troll was hurt and sad. Don't go, he gently said. But old Mrs. Bunce ran home like mad and hid beneath her bed. The troll went on to the marketplace and peeped above the stalls. The sheep went wild when they saw his face, and the geese flew over the walls. Old farmer Hoggy spilled his ale. Bill Butcher threw a knife, and grip his dog, he turned his tail and ran to save his life. The old troll sadly sat and wept outside the lock hole's gate, and Perry the Winkle up he crept and patted him on the plate. Oh, why'd you weep, you great big lump? You're better outside than in. He gave the troll a friendly thump and laughed to see him grin. Oh, Perry the Winkle boy, he cried. Come, you're the lad for me. Now, if you're willing to take a ride, I'll carry you home to tea. He jumped on his back and held on tight, and off you go, said he. And the Winkle had a feast that night, and sat on the old troll's knee. There were pikelets, there was buttered toast and jam and cream and cake, and the Winkle strove to eat the most, though his buttons all should break. The kettle sang, the fire was hot, the pot was large and brown, and the Winkle tried to drink the lot in tea, though he should drown. When full and tight were coat and skin, they rested without speech. To the old troll said, I'll now begin the baker's art to teach, the making of beautiful cramsome bread, of bannocks light and brown, and then you can sleep on a heather bed with pillows of owlets down. Young Winkle, where have you been, they said. I've been to a fulsome tea, and I feel so fat for I have fed on cramsome bread, said he. But where my lad in the shire was that? Or out in Bree, said they. But Winkly up and answered flat, I ain't a going to say. But I know where, said Peeping Jack. I watched him right away. He went upon the old troll's back to the hills of far away. Then all the people went with a will, by pony, cart or moke, until they came to a house in a hill and saw a chimney smoke. They hammered on the old troll's door. A beautiful cramsome cake, oh, bake for us, please, or two or more. Oh, bake, they cried, oh, bake. Go home, go home, the old troll said. I never invited you. Only on Thursdays I bake my bread, and only for a few. Go home, go home, there's some mistake. My house is far too small, and I've no bite its cream or cake. The winkle has eaten all. You, Jack and Hog, old Bunce and Pot, I wish no more to see. Be off, be off now, all the lot. The winkle's a boy for me. Now Perry the Winkle grew so fat through eating of cramps and bread, his waistcoat bust and never a hat would sit upon his head. For every Thursday he went to tea and sat on the kitchen floor, and smaller the old troll seemed to be as he grew more and more. The Winkle a baker great became, as still is said in song, from the sea to breathe there went the fame of his bread, both short and long. Where he weren't so good as a cramps and bread, nor but so rich and free, as every Thursday the old troll spread for Perry the Winkle's tea.